Assalamu alaikum, this is Xenomics. Welcome to another tutorial. It's been a long time since I've made a tutorial, so uh, I hope this will be useful and enjoyable as well. See, I was just messing around with Photoshop and I found myself producing this. So I thought, why not share it with you guys and show you exactly how I did it. So, Control N for new, and I'm going to make 1000 pixels width by 700 height. Press OK. I went to the text tool here, T, went T in the middle, and I wrote my name, Xenomex. Double clicked here, and then changed the color to kind of sky blue. The font is Calibri. Dragged it to the middle. Going to increase the size. Press Enter to get out the transform control, and drag it roughly around the middle. Now, I'm going to go to my layer here, and I'm going to duplicate it about three times. But I'm going to duplicate it once, sorry. And then I'm going to rotate it like this. I'm going to drag it down like so. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to change the color of this here. I'm going to change it to white. Then I'm going to duplicate the tilted white xenomics. So by pressing control J, and I'm going to put it here. Then I'm going to control J once again, duplicate that layer, and put it here. I'm going to combine the three white xenomix layers by clicking here, then holding shift and clicking on the top one. That way it selects all three. Then I'm going to press control E so it, so it merges all three layers. Now I'm going to go to Xenomix, the original sky blue Xenomix, and I'm going to hold control and press this box here. And as you can see, it selected the pixels within the sky blue Xenomix. Now I'm going to select the inverse of the sky blue Xenomix by holding control shift I and pressing delete on the keyboard. Now it's saying could not complete a request because I did not have the white Xenomix selected. So if I have that selected and press delete, it should do it with no problem. Now I'm sure you've not noticed any difference. Why? Because the actual color is white and the background is white. But if I highlight the pixels by holding control and going to the layer thumbnail, you can see the EX here and the beginning of the X here. That doesn't matter. I mean, it's outside the picture. As long as there isn't any Xenomix inside, there is no problem. So I'm going to deselect by going to Control D. Now I'm going to lower the opacity of the white Xenomixes over the sky blue Xenomix. So I'm going to put the opacity down till, until it looks about fine. Here the opacity is 60%. I think that looks more or less alright. Now I'm going to merge Xenomix with the white lowered opacity Xenomix by holding Control E like I did last time. And now this is simply one layer. Now I'm going to go to right click, blending options, I'm going to go to bevel and emboss, I'm going to increase the soften, increase the size, change the shadow mode to a kind of dark bluish kind of thing. Then I'm going to go to stroke, which just simply means outline, and I'm going to do the fill type as a gradient. So it's not just one color being the outline, it's going to be more than one color. It's going to be like a gradient. So I'm going to go to the gradient, now I'm going to click here, and I'm going to choose the two colors that are going to be in the linear gradient. First color, I'm going to make it to be dark bluish, like this. Uh, second color can also be dark blue, but of a different tone. So now I'm going to press OK, then I'm going to go to drop shadow. Increase the size a bit, make sure that the distance is zero, and maybe I want to give this a kind of blackish, dark greenish kind of color. I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to go press OK, and I'm going to add a reflection to the Xenomix. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to hold Control J. So this is duplicate the layer as you can see. I'm going to right click, clear the layer style and I'm going to flip it vertically. So I'm going to click here once, right click, go to flip vertical. And I'm going to hold shift and move it upwards like that. Now press enter to get out of the transform controls. So moving on, I'm going to be taking the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to make sure that the feather is on 20 or something around 10 to 50. And then I'm going to make a selection like this. This is actually feathered, so this is not an accurate selection, it's a feathered selection. So, making sure that I've got this layer selected, I just press delete. Now as you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see this kind of smooth feathery deletion. And I'm sure you guys have spotted this, 
and this are on the screen. Don't worry about that, we can get rid of that later. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sort out the reflection a bit more. I don't want it to be a perfectly straight horizontal line. So I'm going to get the eraser tool by going to E, or just go in here. And I'm going to right click, make sure that's a big size and the hardest is zero so it's soft. I'm going to d delete it here. Don't like that, control Z, try again. There we go. I'm going to do the same here. That looks about fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a horizontal line, really small, possibly not that noticeable horizontal line. And I'm going to make it really almost white, but really light blue. I'm going to right click, rasterize the layer, and I'm going to take the elliptical marquee tool, which is feathered in 50, choose the middle of the line, and go to Control Shift I. So I select the inverse, press Delete. And now that softly and gently deleted this part of the rectangle, of the really, really small rectangle, and this part as well. Now I'm going to add my background texture. So this is the folder with which I have the textures in, and I just decided to choose this one. So I'm going to drag and drop this straight to the file. I'm going to rotate it by going here and entering 90 degrees. Press Enter. As you can see, it's made it a smart object. So before I rasterize the layer, make it normal, I'm just going to increase the size, put it to an edge like that, click once so I'm in the transform controls, hold shift and increase the size. Now I'm going to press enter and I'm going to drag this all the way to the bottom. This will this will be the background. We can now delete the background layer. So I'm going to right click rasterize. So this is just a normal layer. Then I'm going to go to the hue and saturations menu by going to control U. I'm going to go to colorize, increase the saturation, increase just a bit here, and go to about the sky blue kind of thing. Obviously you can try out different colors, you know, like a, like a red scheme or a yellow scheme and so forth. I'm going to press OK. We're almost there. I'm just going to decrease the opacity of this shape here. I'm going to put it down to about 57. <laughs> yep, that looks about fine. I can make the reflection look a bit more realistic by lowering the opacity of that as well. So if we do that, put it down to about 60%. And you can experiment to see which one will look good out of these. I'm going to add just one little teeny weeny effect, but it's really effective. I'm going to go to the lasso tool. I'm going to create a new layer. And this is the selection that I'm going to make. Now I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool, fill this with white. And I'm going to control D, so I've deselected this weird shape that I've made and go to Xenomex, control click here so it's made this selection and now I'm going to select the inverse of that control shift I in order to delete the white which is outside by pressing delete making sure that I've got this layer so let's delete and it's gone now I can just go down here I think overlay would look alright soft light looks a lot better than overlay for this example now the last thing we're going to do to add just that professional touch is go to the marquee tool. So I'm going to make a selection like this, just around the Xenomix area, making sure that I've got this layer selected. Then I'm going to select the inverse, so Control Shift I. Then I'm going to go to Edit Fill. So I want to fill this area, but not with a hundred percent black. You know, just a bit of black, just so I can make the Xenomix in the middle stand out. As you can see, because I've done this before I've recorded the video, I've set the opacity on 40%. So now it will fill it with black, but not 100% black. And I'm just going to increase that a bit, 55%, press OK. And as you can see, a very, very simple way and a brilliant result. Control D to deselect, and this is the final product. Personally, I think this looks amazing. You can do it. It's very, very easy. Follow the video. Play it again. If you have any questions, comments, or any sort of query, I will always be there to answer it for you. Uh, I hope you check the channel. And if you did like the video, remember to rate it. Subscribe and see you in another tutorial.